All right, guys, Daniel Richardson out here on the range. I've got one of my instructors, Daniel Wright. He's gonna help me with an instructional segment for you guys. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is gonna be stance and grip, okay? And he's gonna pretty much demo how not to stand and then how we make a correction so he stands the appropriate way. And then he's gonna grip the gun incorrectly. We're gonna make a few small tweaks and show you the benefits of what those corrections are gonna give us. So at the end of the video, you'll see how you need to be standing and how you need to be gripping the gun that'll help you best absorb recoil and keep your balance. Okay, so let's dive into it. All right, go ahead and present the gun to the target for me, sir. All right, so here's what I want you to do. So since we're talking about stance first, I want you to pick a spot on the target. So in this case, we'll aim right at the middle of the bullseye. Show me an incorrect stance and put all the weight back on your heels. So basically your toes are kind of floating. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is how you see a lot of people go to the range and this is their stance, right? Because they have an explosion in the front of their hands and they want to get away from it. That's not the objective. Okay, the objective is going to be we want a stance that helps us best control recoil. So what I want you to do is without moving the gun, I want you to just simply take your weight and think of putting your nose over your toes. All right, so you see what happened to his gun. His gun had a pretty decent amount of drop to it. So he thinks he's level with the target, but because his stance was not accurate, you saw how much the gun actually moves. We wanna correct that, okay? So what I want you to do is present the gun to the target, and I want you to put the weight more on the balls of your feet where you're balanced, you're stationary, and you can do this with your feet or your upper body at whatever you feel is comfortable for you because everybody's gonna be different. He likes to run more of a bladed stance that's really aggressive. You can run that tighter in, you can run your feet further apart. It's totally up to you as a shooter, but what I want is balanced where everything is moving this way. It's going forward, okay? You should not have weight back here. If I can wiggle my toes, my weight distribution is incorrect. If I bend forward at the waist and put my nose over my toes, if I had an imaginary line that ran from my big toe straight up in the air, my nose should touch it, okay? That's the weight distribution I want you to have, okay? So now, when he aims at the target, he doesn't have to worry about any movement in the gun because his stance is off, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Nose over toes, weight going forward, that will give you an optimal stance to be able to better consorb, to absorb recoil and it's gonna help him be more balanced. Okay, so if he's balanced, he can control the gun and he can control recoil, all right? <clears throat> now, I want you to present the gun to the target and show me an incorrect grip. This is a grip that a lot of people are gonna use on the range and we'll talk about the pros and cons of it here in just a second. Present the gun to the target for me, sir, get an incorrect grip. All right, so this is a very common grip that you'll see a lot of particularly newer shooters do, okay? This is more of like a revolver grip, depending on some circles that you may run in. Okay, double thumbs down. If he actually shot the gun here, he's got a lot of surface area that's exposed, and we want to cover that up, okay? So go ahead and put the gun back in the holster for me, load and make ready, and then we'll actually shoot one so you guys can see the difference in what the recoil is going to do versus having an incorrect grip and a correct grip, okay? All right, present the gun to the target and get an improper grip for me, whatever grip you decide to go with. Okay, now I want you to fire two rounds with that inappropriate grip and come back to the ready position on you whenever you're ready. All right, awesome. Now, show me another grip that you've seen on the range that's different than that one that you see a lot of shooters do. And do the same thing. Okay, awesome. Now, get a correct grip and do the same thing. All right, awesome, and holster. So. What did you feel in terms of recoil between those three grips? Which grip felt the most squared way to you? The third one. The sure. third one? Yeah. Why? I had more purchase on the gun, a lot more real estate with my hands. You had a lot more of that space filled when it comes to gripping the gun. That's what we want. 
when we get it out there on the range. What we don't want is all the gaps and all the holes that people have in their hands. We want everything to be tight together. Do me a favor, unload your pistol, please, sir. And we're going to present an empty gun to the target, and we're going to talk these people through how they need to get an appropriate grip. Okay. All right, so gun is clear. All right, go ahead and aim at the target for me. So let's talk about how we're going to build this grip. He's going to start... Take this hand off the gun for me. So you notice he's got a strong grip here. I like to build this grip with a thumb up. The reason being is I'm gonna fill all this open space with my non-shooting hand, okay? Second thing I want you to think of is everything we do when it comes to gripping the gun is gonna be a reference point. In this case, he's shooting a Glock, so we're gonna use this takedown lever as a reference point for where we want our weak hand thumb to wind up in its general vicinity, okay? So go ahead and bring that to the target. Just give me bring that to the gun. All right, so he's using that as a reference point. He wants to be up a little higher, but if you go here, that's fine as well. It's totally personal preference. What I'm looking for also is no space in the palms. When you present a gun to the target, you want a suction cup method. You want this to happen, okay? A lot of people squeeze with the fingers, and that'll cause the gun to be pushed or pulled in different directions. I want a C-clamp effect. All the palms squeeze together. Okay, so do that for me real quick. So you'll notice by doing that, he's actually got sideways leverage by making this C-clamp approach as opposed to coming at an angle or coming directly from the bottom up. Okay, you want to always go perfectly sideways so that you can counteract pressure with pressure. Okay, this is gonna help you most optimally absorb recoil. And if you notice, he's got a slight bend in both of his elbows. Okay, if you ever see somebody and their arms are fully locked, that's gonna be bad news when it comes to their ability to actually absorb recoil. So this is a more natural bend. If you feel a sensation in the top of the elbow or the shoulder, you're putting too much torque on those arms and you need to back it down just a little bit. Okay, this is the optimal shooting stance paired with a good grip and he's got proper stance and base so that he can control the gun effectively. All right, so go ahead and load up for me. <clears throat> so we're gonna build the grip from scratch, okay? He's gonna bring his left hand to the gun. His left thumb will be the first thing he builds, and then his hands on the back side are together. Take your hand off the gun and give me a karate chop, okay? Fingers together, this is how his hand is when it's meeting the gun. He's gonna take his thumb and he's gonna roll it forward and now he's gonna build it on the gun. It's gonna go on the gun just like that with his palms together. There should be no space back here. If you've got that grip paired with that stance, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, how do you feel? Stable? Great, yeah. All right, shoot a couple rounds, and let's watch your muzzle. Let's see if any of those changes make a difference. Awesome, and holster up. Perfect. All right, so that was a quick tutorial, if you will, on basic stance, basic grip, and why it's important to tie both of them together. Anything you want to add? No. Cool. Good. All right. So, guys, stay tuned for more videos, more instructional tips coming at you soon.